obviously that's my that's my main research area and well what i what i gave, presented in my talk is pretty much also represented in, in what we're doing in our overall research and i think that was also visible by me uh, shamelessly advertising what my phd's do and present at that term is so i i truly believe that from these models that we develop we can actually we can go in all directions in investigating bone so we can understand bone physiology better hopefully uh, how cells interact with each other uh, we can also integrate technological tools to better do so it's my belief and i actually also think we we could once we can recreate the healthy state, we can also switch to recreating the diseased state. So we could either start with cells from diseased patients, that would be one option, or we could induce a disease, for example, in the lab. So that would be, that would be another option. And then follow this up with potential treatments for these diseases. So investigate drugs in the 3D in vitro models, like how well do patients respond to the drugs? What is the mechanism of the underlying drug, etc.? And at the same time, by creating these environments, I hope we can also understand better what cells need in order to regenerate. And that kind of is the line back to termis, where it's actually also about regenerative medicine, not so much just about diseases and tissue models, but hopefully also that we can create environments that stimulate the cells best to regenerate. And well, I'm working on bone. Bone usually has a great regenerative capacity, and there's only a few cases where bone cells need to be stimulated on top of what they're naturally doing. So I, I hope that for bone regeneration, so for these cases of large fractures where the bones do not heal themselves, that we can create a, hopefully a scaffold environment, a scaffold that... Uh, for example, release a structure, but it's a scaffold that is instructive to the innate cells of the patient. So uh, that would make clinical translation much easier than implanting something living if we had a biomaterial environment, a chemical, physical environment that triggers the, the cells from the patient and not having to implant something living. <laughs> 